Margie is back. Yes, she is with her navy blue nails. She's down a nail, which is rare for Margie. She doesn't remember how she broke it, or she doesn't know how she broke it. But I'm going to replace it regardless, so it really doesn't matter, does it? We're going to go ahead and remove everything with my two-time coarse carbide safety bit. I will clean under the nail. I will go back. I will push the cuticles back. Then I will come back and I will prep the natural nail area with my fine grit sanding band, which should only be used one time per person. It is a porous substance that needs to be thrown away. So after we're done that, we're going to cleanse, dehydrate, push her cuticles back all the way to her elbows if I can with 100% pure acetone. What that does is it moistens the cuticle for it to be able to push back further and then it cleanses and dehydrates all at the same time. It's a miracle. We're going to get some fresh liquid, fresh powder, my number 12 Kolinsky, and we are going to finish her refill, okay? She wants red and white. She wants a couple of sweater nails and some snowflakes. So it's going to be very easy. So I decided to do the white sweater nail because I just really love white sweater nails. So after I'm done with the curing the polish, I'm going to put a regular top coat on and then the matte top coat because it just makes for a better matte finish. Then I will cure it and come back and we will do the sweater design using the same color as the base color, which obviously is white. So I decided to do some X's on this pattern and then on the index finger I'll do a different pattern and then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite hand. So I decided just to use my Sakura number two for all of that. Once you have your design in place and you're happy with it, go ahead and dump on some clear acrylic powder, tap off the excess and then cure it. Once it comes out, I like to wipe it away with either acetone or gel residue cleaner. Acetone will not ruin it. You have to remember acetone um, won't ruin that stuff because it really needs to soak in it for it to be compromised. If you're just wiping over, it's not going to hurt it, which leads me to something else I want to tell you. If you ever get sweater nails and they get dirty or stained up or whatever and you can't get them clean with soap and water, just get some pure acetone, put it on a lint-free uh, pad or something, a cotton ball, whatever, and just go over the pattern lightly with it and it'll clean off any dirt or oils and bring it back to what it looked like. It will not hurt it, I promise. But here's the final look.